We have a special asset classes in the SAP system, for example, the assets under construction, which, well, those, they don't uh, generate um, any depreciation posting. Also, uh, the low value assets, for example, and with, for low value assets, we can just, for example, define a check uh, for a maximum amount. And right now, this is the one that we will focus on, the, the low value assets. And for this, we'll let's just open the financial accounting and asset accounting path because we will check for example how can we set up this maximal value so the path is for general valuation and here we have the amount of specifications for company code and depreciation area and as you can see well here is the transaction the specified maximum amount for low value assets so um, let's run this and well, we have two activities. Let's start with the specif the, what, the first one, the specify amount for low value assets. Interestingly enough, um, this is something we can control differently for each company code. So let's select our company code and let's just double click the sub step here on the left hand side. So as you can see, um, we, we have the depreciation areas and we can even set up a value here for uh, the different areas. We will do it for the local tax in local currency area and well, we will just set up a value of 500 euros. Uh, the second column is just uh, the maximum amount check for a purchase orders as well. So that is a uh, something we also want to customize right now. So we just set up 500 in both columns and now let's just save this customizing setting confirm the change request and well let's go back because we also need to specify which is the asset class that is considered the low value asset class and uh, uh, for which depreciation areas should the check happen so let's just select the second activity and well, let's go for choose and well the one that we want to um, use it's 5000 this is the low value asset uh, class. And let's just select that line and double click the sub step here for low value asset check. Right now, as you can see, for all the depreciation areas, we have a no uh, maximum amount check, but we can change that just by entering the ID, it's just one. So as you can see, well, uh, it's uh, for a value based um, maximum amount check. Let's uh, do it again for the uh, depreciation area 15. So, well, after we have entered these settings, we can just save. And with that, well, we are just finishing these customizing settings. And of course, we just uh, invite you to keep learning with the next lessons.